Hey everyone, it's Claire Rogers from Itopia Coaching. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this week I want to talk about the three statements that we say in our everyday language that directly impacts us in a negative way. It keeps us limited and it directly impacts the choices that we make in life to pursue our dreams and goals. And those three statements are this. I am only, I can't, and I believe. So the first statement I want to talk about is, I am only. I hear this statement literally every day in my coaching practice. I am only a grade XYZ employee. I am only a band XYZ employee. I am only a junior manager. I am only a high school graduate. I only have a bachelor's degree. I only can run 10K. I only. This statement is a lack statement. It's a limiting belief statement. And what happens when you say this statement is that it's directly impacting how you see yourself and how other people see you. See, by saying, I am only, you are keeping yourself small. You are saying indirectly that you are not good enough. You're not qualified enough, skilled enough, senior enough, educated enough, whatever. But you are indirectly saying that you are not good enough. It's a limiting belief. So as a side note, I want to say to any manager out there, listen out for your employees that could be saying, I am only. As I say, I'm a coach and I hear this every day. So I imagine that in a big corporate office, people are saying this all of the time. So if you're a manager, then listen out for this language and correct it and tell your employees that they are not only anything, that they are a valued member of the organization or the team. You see, by the employees thinking that they are only, this is likely to keep them from speaking up in meetings and giving their opinions because they're thinking that they are only at a certain level, therefore they are not valued. So that's just a side note. And for the person that is saying, I am only, I am only a junior manager, or I'm only a banding or a grading XYZ, for example, or I can only run 10K, or I can only do this. This is the thing that you need to remember. Nobody was born a CEO, to my knowledge anyway. Nobody was born running marathons. Nobody was born knowing everything. Nobody was born with a master's degree. Nobody was born with a PhD. Nobody was born with a high school education. Everybody has to start somewhere. So therefore, don't compare yourself to others who may have different qualifications from you or may have different experiences with running or whatever it may be because they didn't start out that way. They started exactly where you are. So just remember that you are not only anything. You are just at the start of a journey. Next statement I want to talk about quickly is I can't. I can't exercise. I can't run. I can't lose weight. I can't go back to school. I can't change careers. I can't change jobs. All of these examples of I can't and the various versions that we may say to ourselves of I can't, by saying those words, we are purposely and proactively limiting ourselves. Now, that's a hard fact to realize. It's a hard truth. And hey, no judgment. I have been guilty of this in the past. But the thing that we need to realize is by saying I can't is that our words reinforce what we believe about ourselves and so therefore keep us limited. It's a limiting belief. But I want to challenge you. When you say to yourself, I can't, I want to challenge you and say, but look at all of these things that you couldn't do in the past that you can now. So for example, uh, you weren't born walking. That was, I couldn't do this, but now you can. So there's a lot of I can'ts that you have overcome in life. You have learned how to walk. You've learned how to speak. You have learned how to read, for example. You have learned how to do mathematics, for example. Um, any of these things is an example of where you have overcome your I can'ts in the past. And we need to get back to that mindset 
that we had as children where you can do things. You are not limited. And the next statement I want to talk about is, I believe. I believe I can get a job. I believe that I can get a good grade in school. I believe I can go back to school. I believe I can change careers. I believe I can start a business. I believe I can do X, Y, Z. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, but actually, I believe is a good statement. It's a positive statement. It's a proactive statement. And to a degree, I would agree with you. It's a lot better than saying, I can't. Totally agree with you. But I've come to realize that I actually think the statement, I believe, is actually a lack statement. It's actually a statement that creates doubt. So let me give you a real life example of how I've come to this conclusion. So last November, I ran a marathon in Athens. It's the original marathon. So it was on my bucket list, but it's a tough marathon. It's uh, primarily all uphill. Um, it's going to take about four or five hours to run it. And I ran it and I had a pulled hamstring, 25 degrees, pulled hamstring, at around the 20 mile mark, 21 mile mark, my hamstring was screaming at me. Uh, it really, really hurt. I'm running up the hill and hey, I'm a mindset coach. I should be able to do this in my sleep, right? Get my mindset in the right place. You know, I can meditate. I can uh, visualize my success. You know, this is my career. But I could not get my head in the game because I could not focus on anything but the pain that was screaming down my leg. But I knew that I had like, I think it was like five or six more miles to go. So what do you think would have happened if I'd said to myself when I was in that dark moment of the pain in my leg, it's 25 degrees, it's really hot and I'm miserable and I'm angry because I can't get my head in the game. What do you think would have ha happened to my mindset if I'd said, I believe I can run up this hill. I believe I can run the next five or six miles. Believe is like a, it's like a, I'm putting doubt in my mind, right? But instead of saying, I believe, I said, I know I can run the next five miles. I know I can run the next six miles. You see the difference? It's not just a believe. I believe you're creating a lack there. You're creating a doubt. Whereas I know, you see, I'm already rising up, right? I know I can do this. So if that's just something I've noticed in my own personal life, and maybe you can check that out for yourself. When you are actually saying, I believe, and hey, I'm not saying that that's a bad thing to say, I believe. It's a lot better than saying, I can't, or I'm only. But when you catch yourself saying, I believe, switch the words to, I know, and see how you feel. So to recap and to conclude, so remember that your words create your reality. Your words directly impact your outcomes. They directly impact your successes in life. They directly impact your mindset. So now, when you catch yourself saying, I am only, I want you to change that to, I am. And again, to reiterate, managers, employers out there, when you hear your staff saying, I am only, correct that language and tell them that they are not only anything, that they are valued members of the team. And I promise you that if you correct that behavior, you are going to increase your employee engagement. And again, that statement, I am only, does not apply only to the workforce. You could be saying that in any aspects of your life. So again, change it from I'm only to I am. When you say I can't, you change it to I can. When you say, I believe, you change that to, I know. Now, I realize that this is a very short video um, and this is a very comprehensive subject. So if you need help on this, then please don't hesitate to contact me. And also, I just wanna leave it with, these changes don't happen overnight. It's a continuous practice. So I really encourage you to implement these changes and these practices every day to increase your positive everyday language and to increase and create a positive mindset. I hope this video was helpful. Check back in next week for my next video. Take care.